Multiplication is fundamentally about scaling and proportions. We have seen how this relates to areas of boxes, but we can also view this on a number line and use lengths as well. Example, use lengths to visualize the product 2 times 3. When we were using the picture with boxes, we had three copies of rows containing two boxes each. This time we'll have three copies of an arrow that points two to the right. Just as with the boxes, you may look at this and say, it looks like repeated addition. But we will now use this as a framework for understanding multiplication with negatives, which cannot easily be understood as repeated addition. Let's look at the pictures for 2 times 3, 2 times 2, 2 times 1, and 2 times 0 all lined up together. What is the pattern in the values of the results? We can see that the values decrease by 2 each time. If we just follow this pattern, we would get 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. And we can see this makes some sense because we know negatives are related to things moving in the opposite direction. In fact, we can think of the negative sign as simply meaning that we flip the arrow before stretching. We can use the same idea, but starting with arrows pointing to the left. Let's look at the pictures for negative 2 times 3, negative 2 times 2, negative 2 times 1, and negative 2 times 0. If we continue this pattern, we get negative 2 times negative 1 is 2, and negative 2 times negative 2 is 4. This leads us to the following rules for signs when multiplying negatives. A positive times a positive equals a positive. A positive times a negative equals a negative. A negative times a positive equals a negative. And a negative times a negative equals a positive. Example, compute 3 times negative 4. 3 times negative 4. We can see that this is a positive number multiplied by a negative number, so the final answer will be negative. Then we compute 3 times 4 to get 12, so that the final answer is negative 12. Notice that there is a set of parentheses around the negative 4. Just as with adding negatives, we do not want to have two arithmetic symbols side by side. Example, compute negative 8 times negative 3. Negative 8 times negative 3 is a negative times a negative, so the final answer will be positive. 8 times 3 is 24, so the final answer is a positive 24. Example, compute 30 times negative 50. This problem requires you to combine two different multiplication ideas that we've used in the past. The first one is regarding the negative sign. We have a positive times a negative, so our final answer will be negative. And then we have to figure out the actual value of the product 30 times 50. You may recall from a previous section that when we did products like this, we had 10 by 10 boxes. Each box represents 100 boxes. And we have a 3 by 5 grid of these larger boxes. 3 times 5 is 15, and each one represents 100, so we have 1,500 total boxes. So the final answer is negative 1,500. 